Hi, my name is James Bezik. I'm a senior developer advocate here at AWS Serverless. And today I'm going to show you how to set up SaaS integrations with Amazon EventBridge. In this video, I'll show you how to configure PagerDuty. There are many benefits to using this sort of integration. First, you can take customized automated action on a PagerDuty incident ticket. You could add functionality that isn't natively part of what PagerDuty provides. You can also easily add incremental functionality with minimal code using managed services to ensure reliability and minimize the maintenance. Before we start, let's take a look at how EventBridge helps with this integration. As your applications expand to include other systems beyond your immediate control, you need to pass information to and from those systems. Since you don't own the code, it can be hard to get that information. There are a couple of options available. If your SaaS provider supports it, you can use their API and use polling. With polling, you can trigger a Lambda function every minute, every five minutes, or 10 minutes to query a service. And then if there's new information, you can generate events based upon that. Now, this is OK if the data payload isn't too large, but generally, it's a last resort option. It creates unnecessary load on the SaaS provider. And there's also a lag where there's stale data between it being available at the provider and your system knowing about it. You also have to manage the polling service. In the second case, if your SaaS provider supports it, you can use webhooks, and this is a much better choice. In this case, you provide the SaaS provider with an HTTP endpoint. They can post or get to that endpoint when new information is available. You can use a custom authorizer to validate the calls, and now the data you're receiving is much closer to real time. But webhooks also have some downsides. If your service goes down, the SaaS provider may not know about this and may not retry calling you, so you can lose information. Also, your HTTP endpoint is a public endpoint, so you have to secure that, and you may need to write custom authorizer logic. Often, the security model used here uses static secrets like API keys, and sometimes that's not the best approach. You have to manage this API, and depending on your implementation, it can be difficult to scale. Now there's a third option with Amazon EventBridge. We have a growing list of third-party services that directly connect with AWS. Traffic does not traverse the internet. It stays within the AWS network, which is inherently more secure than going on the internet. There's no infrastructure to manage, and it scales automatically. Now, for SaaS application integration, there's a special resource called a partner event source. This is a logical connection between your SaaS provider and your AWS account without needing cross-account IAM roles and credentials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a provider. It's really easy. So the first thing to do is go to pagerduty.com and sign up for an account or log into your account if you already have one. I've already logged into my account, and you can see my dashboard here. Now, PagerDuty provides detailed instructions that you can find on their support site on what to do here. But I'm going to step you through the steps involved. First of all, go to the configuration menu at the top of the screen. Click there and go to Services. Then select your service. I've already created one called Tutorials. And then select Integrations. And then click on New Extension. In the drop-down, just scroll down and you'll find Amazon EventBridge. Click that, and then click Open in a new page. From here, just click on Add Service. Now, we'll need our AWS account ID. So the first thing we'll do is go to the drop-down on the right and copy that across. Now, in PagerDuty, I give this a name, James Demo. Put in the account ID. I'll just take out the hyphens. Choose the region I want to use. I'm currently in North Virginia. Select the service, and then provide a name, and then select Create. And that now has created everything needed on the PagerDuty side to send events to EventBridge. So next, we go to EventBridge. And I'll change the region back to the one I'm using, which is North Virginia. Now on the left side, I'm going to click on Event Buses. And you can see the default event bus that we have. Now, in the partner events, event sources, you can see the PagerDuty event source that was just created and it's in a pending state. We select this event source and then say associate with event bus. I have the option to add permissions for other accounts or organizations. 
and then just click associate. And that now has associated the event source with a new event bus just for PagerDuty. Now if I click on rules and select that event source, I'm going to create a new rule and call this my PagerDuty rule. I'll scroll down, select event pattern. And I want this to be predefined by service. I'll select service partners and then PagerDuty. And you can see the event pattern already has the AWS account number. It's going to the right event bus there. I'm going to change the target to CloudWatch log group and create a log group called PagerDuty-demo. And then we'll hit create. And that's now created the rule for that event bus. Now under log groups, I'll just change the region back to North Virginia. You'll see that it now has a log group for that rule, the PagerDuty demo at the top. There's nothing in there yet because we haven't created any events just yet. Now back in PagerDuty, what I can do is go to the dashboard and create a new incident. I'll send this to that service. And I'll call it, this is a new incident. Provide a description as well, test incident, and then create incident. Great, that's created. And now back in CloudWatch, we'll see that if I just refresh the log stream, there's now a log stream showing that event. And I'll open up this that shows all the JSON and in there, you can sh you see there's a summary of this is a new incident, the same subject. So integrating with popular SaaS providers is very easy with EventBridge. You no longer have to poll third-party APIs or use webhooks. Once you've configured the provider and the EventBridge bus, you can receive events from these services in near real time. To learn more, visit aws.amazon.com forward slash EventBridge. Thanks for joining me for this brief overview. Happy coding.